Today we're going to take a look at a uh, Western uh, replica revolver. Uh, this is the Han 45 BB repeater. It's a full weight replica of the single action army revolver. Uh, later, it was it was the Crossman 45. This gun was made from 1958 until 1970. Now the story of this gun is uh, Crossman was real nervous about putting out a, a CO2 BB gun. So a gentleman named with the last name of Han, he created a, his own company in New York, and it was they made uh, the BB guns and a BB rifle. And in the 1950s and in 1960s, westerns were super popular. Uh, they had uh, Gunsmoke, The Bonanza, uh, the movie The Alamo, just to name a few. Every kid wanted to emulate their western TV stars. And so he decided to make this gun right here. It was highly promoted and it was a complete success. This gun uh, is is actually a really nice and well-made gun. It's very heavy, and it's a lot of fun to shoot. So I'm going to show it to you, and then we're going to shoot it uh, from 12 feet offhand, just because it's a BB gun, and I wanted to attain some accuracy. So let me show you this gun. It has your fixed front sight. It has a notched rear sight. It's a single action, so you have to cock it each time in order to shoot it. There's no safety on it, and the trigger, the trigger is super nice. You just touch that trigger. It's almost hair. In order to put the CO2 in, there's a little knob here, and you loosen it up, your CO2 is right there. Now there's usually a little plastic cover that covers them but most of them have been lost so what I did just for an aesthetic I wrapped this with duct tape so how you do this is you put this in that little knob you tighten the little knob down and in order to charge it you cock it and you shoot it and it pierces it it's ready to go now this is an 18 shot repeater and I'm going to show you how you load it. There's a little slide here. That little slide pushes up and you pop it into place. You load 12 BBs. Afterwards you take and you pop that down. Each time you twist it, a BB gets loaded into the cylinder. And then you take and you Bring that little notch back and you put your remaining six BBs in. You have 18 continuous shots. I can see why every kid back in the late 50s and early and, and, and through the 60s wanted this gun. This would be the gun that everybody on your street would be envious. It does pack uh, some fairly good power. I haven't chronied it, but just from shooting it, I can tell that it packs a pretty good punch. It's also a very loud gun to shoot, which only brings more to the experience. Most guns today just go pfft, pfft. This one here goes bam, bam. It's a lot of fun to shoot. So anyway, let's go shoot this gun. We're gonna shoot it from uh, 12 feet off hand so we can get, get some accuracy out of it. Later on, I'm gonna shoot it further just to see exactly how it shoots. But anyway, let's go shoot this gun.
Okay, so let's look at the target. And this is from a 12 feet offhand. And it seems like the first, like, it seems like a lot of CO2 guns, the first few shots until it powers down just a tiny bit aren't as accurate. But for a little BB gun, uh, it's not too bad. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I can't say enough about an, an, an old pistol like this. One thing I really like about it is it's loud. It, it's uh, a really loud gun. And it is fun to shoot. So that's it today for the Han 45 BB repeater. Such a fun little gun to shoot. It's not real accurate. But it's a BB gun. It's a smooth bore. I can understand why every kid wanted one of these. You were the envy on your street if you was to get one of these back in the 60s. The programs that they used to promote this gun were outstanding. They had one guy that was like the fast draw expert. He promoted it and it became a complete success. I hope you enjoy watching my videos. I always enjoy making them. And until next time, you all have a nice day. Thanks for watching.